Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's Daniel. I have another week of comic book reviews. We have Batman number two, Aquaman number two, and Justice League Rebirth. Now we start off with the two new characters we were introduced to last week, Gotham and Gotham Girl. Batman himself refers to them as Superman of sorts. He knows they have super strength, they can fly, and things of that nature. So he's really trying to keep an eye on them and see what they can do in battle. After they take out Solomon Grundy, he kind of says, you need to do this faster. He could have escaped. He could have hurt somebody. You need to hurry up. You know, you have special powers. You need to use it to your advantage. And Gotham is pretty humble, it seemingly, and kind of says, you know, we're not here to take your spot. We're here for guidance. We want you to make us better. We know we're not there yet. We jump forward a little bit. Batman is in the Batcave. Batman, of course, is burdened, as he usually is. Batman really doesn't want any more senseless deaths. He doesn't want himself or Dick or anybody to die for no reason and he knows that he needs help so that's why he's wanting to see what Gotham and Gotham Girl can do. He invites them to meet <clears throat> Gordon who had someone come into his office referred to the monster men and uh, ended up stabbing themselves to death basically so he puts up the bat signal Batman shows up and Gotham and Gotham Girl show up and he's like no no they're with me I want to see what they can do I want to challenge them and see you know how far we can take this thing. We're left with a little bit of a cliffhanger, obviously, with the Monster Men. What are they going to do? How far is Batman willing to go to help Gotham and Gotham Girl? Are they good or are they bad? Obviously, it looks like they're good. They say they're good. Batman believes that. Batman knows that actions speak louder than words, so he kind of just has to take them at face value right now because they have been helping him, and I think that's what he wants. Overall, this was a pretty good issue. Definitely pick it up if you've been reading this series. I will give it a 3.5 out of 5. Um... It's pretty decent. Pick it up. Now we jump to Aquaman and the big, as you can see from the cover, the big rivalry between Aquaman and... I was gonna say Aqualad. <laughs> Black Manta. <laughs> you kind of get a pretty good uh, sense of the, the backstory. Aquaman kills Black Manta's father and he says it's the biggest mistake of his life. Um, but he also knows that he wouldn't have became the Aquaman he is today if it wasn't for that horrible moment that he had to go through. And he's actually really sorry. He kind of apologizes to Black Manta saying, I miss my father. I can't imagine what you're going through. Now Aquaman and Black Manta are really going at it. They're really going hard. They're stabbing each other. They're punching each other. Um, Black Manta basically comes out and says, I've succeeded in my plan because the surface world, he blew up the embassy that they had built uh, for Atlantis on mainland. Now Aquaman gets Black Manta in a pretty bad situation and he could kill him. And he said, I'm gonna kill you now. I could save lives in the future. I can go back to my life and uh, try to accomplish other things. I have other responsibilities. But he said, I'm not gonna do that. Of course, Aquaman doesn't kill Black Manta right there. You kind of get a feeling that both of them are regretful for things that have happened in the past and that there could be hope in the future. Black Manta ends up giving himself up. He basically just gives up. Um, he gets arrested. Because you get the backstory and because you see them battling pretty much the entire issue and they're actually able to talk it out in the end, which I think is pretty cool. There wasn't just senseless fighting for no reason like that. They have, they have a really good story going on here. And the artwork is amazing, in my opinion. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. It's really, really good. Check it out. We can jump forward to Justice League. And this is a one-shot, basically, rebirth issue. So there's not so much they can do. Um, basically, a giant, like, tick monster attacks. <laughs> it's the size of a city, basically. Um... And it's releasing all these little pods, basically, onto the people on the ground, and it's, like, taking them over. And they say, hey, how are we going to beat this monster? So they end up going inside. I think it was actually pretty cool. Flash is, like, going all over the place. This thing is huge. It's literally the size of a city. So they're, like, walking, and they say it smells really bad. Flash is, like, going all over the place, trying to find the brain, I guess, to do as much damage as possible. Um, Superman is actually, you know, with Lois out in the country with their son, and he's like, hey, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm trying to make it a safer place, but it never works, and so on. So you weren't really sure if he was going to show up because they really needed help. And he shows up and the new rookie Green Lanterns show up. It's kind of a cool moment. And then uh, basically at the end, they're all standing there and they're like, you know, get out of here, tick monster, <laughs> a reaper. Um, you know, we're defenders of Earth and you're not just going to come here and do whatever you want. Um, Aquaman, though, does kind of pick up a signal when they're inside the tick monster. Um, basically says, you know, this is just the beginning, like, this is the first monster, there's bigger and worse ones coming. There's, or Reapers, I should say. Um, so basically they say, we're the defenders, leave. And they're inside, and then all of a sudden the tick monster, like, goes up into the sky and leaves. So, we're gonna see more of that, I'm assuming, in the coming issues. There's a lot of Cyborg in here, which is really cool. I'm, I don't wanna say I'm not a big Cyborg fan, I just haven't seen much of him, so I 
you know. Um, so I thought it was cool to get to introduce to him. Flash is in there. <clears throat> I think it's actually pretty good. I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5. It was a cool uh, rebirth ish. Definitely Aquaman was my favorite this week. That was the high score. It was a 4 out of 5. Sorry I haven't made a video in over a week. Uh, Game of Thrones was our last video. Uh, last week they didn't really have any great comics come out, so <laughs> I skipped last week. Uh, but definitely in the coming days I'll have a lot more out. And uh, next Wednesday or Thursday I'll have a, a review out for the comics as well. So come back and watch and thanks for watching guys.